Moments before our match gets started, we're seeing Jay Blaze show off their sick spinning skills. And with that qualification match 14 underway. Sabora 624 doing the job for the Blue Alliance, grabbing all the power cells off of the initiation line. Matt 7172 doing that job for the Red Alliance. Coming out of our autonomous period, Red Alliance in the lead, but with only one more scored power cell compared to the Blue Alliance. That means that that greater point value will likely due to some inner port scoring compared to the Blue Alliance. With the autonomous period over, we're back to the standard point values for both the lower, outer, and inner port. And these OP sim robots, they know that it's all about the outer and inner port. No attempts at all at lower port scoring. One minute and 40 seconds remaining in the match. Neck and neck like we have always seen. The score trading back and forth based on which robots are able to fire at any given time. We're seeing Archer for the Red Alliance trying to get in the way of Jay Blay and Sabor 624. But Archer now changing their minds. They're back to the loading zone, grabbing a full hopper full of power cells. They cut through the shield generator to make it back and line up to score. And a full hopper released of power cells those being sucked up on the blue lines by sabor 624 and jblay they're racing back to be able to score on the initiation line red alliance beginning to build a lead we haven't really seen a lead this sizable all day 235 to 163 the red alliance capitalizing well able to score 23 more power cells than the blue alliance Archer, however, does get a respawn. They were in contact too long with a Blue Alliance robot, so they got respawned on their initiation line. Entering our end game period, only 30 seconds remaining in the match. Red Alliance still in the lead, but the Blue Alliance catching up. That means, like we've been seeing all day, a lot of important strategy coming into play during our endgame period as teams try to wait it out and score as many power cells as they can in the final moments. Red Alliance already have secured a ranking point by scoring more than 90 power cells. Blue Alliance joins them with 10 seconds to go in the match. All three Red Alliance robots lining up by the shield generator switch. Same for Blue. Robots pulling themselves up. It looks like all six may be up. We'll wait for the scores. Final scores from the match incoming. Qualification match 14 going to the Red Alliance with a score of 401 to 364. That match right there, a unicorn. Four ranking points scored by the Red Alliance. Two ranking points for the Blue Alliance. Powerful matches being done on both sides of the field, but ultimately Red Alliance walking away victorious. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.